Our next guest in studio is preparing to take the helm of the American Academy of Forensic Science. Dr. Christopher Kip Thompson is a nationally renowned forensic psychiatrist and will be serving as president of AAFS next year. He's here now with a preview of his upcoming term. So congratulations on this exciting new role. Thank you very much, Molly. So first off, as you look ahead, you've already identified the inclusion of ethical AI into the forensic science community as a top priority. Uh, why do you feel that this is so important? Um, I think very frequently, perhaps uh, al almost always, we tend to uh, tend to implement new technologies before we've had the time to sufficiently uh, sufficiently vet them, study them, d decide what the downsides are. And uh, I think that with the forensic sciences, it's very important that we not do that. We're dealing with uh, very important issues in the legal context on the civil side. There are frequently uh, very large sums of money at stake and on the criminal side obviously even more importantly there are people's liberty at stake so I think we need to take care to make sure that we uh, implement these technologies carefully and thoughtfully and carefully consider the downsides. Why do you see technology or how do you see technology assisting in the gathering and processing of forensic data? Um, I think that the primary mode by which that will happen is just the ability to analyze huge amounts of data very quickly. Uh, that things that would have taken weeks or months may take minutes or hours. And uh, the other thing that I think is very important is that different data systems are interconnected and also instantaneously updatable. So you'll be able to, for example, compare uh, a data set that you have here to an existing data set that may be bona fide child abuse uh, claims. You compare your photos that you took in your exam against those and it'll be instantaneously available. Obviously AI is raising a lot of concerns as well. What do you see some of the ethical concerns are of using AI? I think the two primary uh, concerns I have from a forensic science perspective would be uh, privacy concerns uh, of individuals in society writ large and then also potentially of criminal defendants or other people involved in litigation. Um, and then the possibility of errors based on erroneous inputs or erroneous algorithms. Um, the, 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 the algorithms are only good as good as the data on which they're based or the assumptions that they're based. And then there's also potentially concerns an ancillary concern about plagiarism and authorship in the forensic science community. How do you see some of the ways that machine learning is already proving beneficial to the field? Um, I think that you are seeing uh, that uh, analysis of huge amounts of data uh, going fairly quickly and fairly efficiently. Mm -hmm. um, that's working in the for the most part, I think, in the field of jurisprudence, although there have been some high-profile mistakes there, and in uh, psychiatry and behavioral sciences, um, but again, with some, some mistakes, uh, I think forensic genealogy is probably, a, for the most part, a success story as far as catching serial killers and other cold cases, um, although there are certainly privacy concerns in that area, that area as well. Dr. Thompson, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks very much, Molly. It was a pleasure. Thank you.